Hey now kids, here is the Spooky's House of Jump Scares, sorry, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, I forgot it changed names. Uh, here is both the DLCs, including the good ending to Dollhouse that I never got, giving you the true ending of the entire saga. You guys really seem to enjoy the revisit to the main game, so I hope you guys enjoy this collection of the DLCs as well. We're thinking about doing an endless mode stream where uh, chat decides on how far I'm going to get, that sort of thing, uh, in the future for endless mode. Uh, and I'll see if I can beat what chat says, but anyway, this was recorded from Twitch like before, so I do interact with chat, but both DLCs here, and I really hope you enjoy them, and um, thank you for being Nomkins. We only need four more subs this month, guys, to hit our Patreon goal. Consider pledging. Even a dollar helps. Just four more. And finally, shout out to our producer, Alice, of course. Her links are on screen right about now. On the 31st, I'm doing a face cam stream, and Alice and I will be playing Resident Evil Outbreak File 2, so make sure you tune in for that. There's details on the community tab. Thank you for listening, everyone. Make sure you follow Alice and check out this spooky gameplay. So the first DLC, Karamari Hospital. There's only one ending to this one, by the way. There's, like, a lot more to the dollhouse. But Karamari Hospital has a pretty straightforward preset story with only one conclusion. There are secrets if you replay it again, but this will be the first time I played it in the HD renovation. All right, here we go. No room numbers for this one. We are going to be doing this on the fly. Holy shit. Oh my god, red pandas again? Okay. Give me a second, I need to... <laughs> Fuck. Red Pandas just did this, guys. I need to reshare it, because, uh... I can't fucking, uh... Oh my god, even more run through the That is a $100 tip. Alright, let's keep going. Hi, Spooky. Thanks, Death Reaper. I am recording this, but I'm doing it in the same way I did the first one, which I left the emotes on and chat on and responded to you guys. Karamari Hospital. Here we go. Let's have a look around. There's actually anything interesting in the lobby. Calamari. Karamari. Not calamari. Karamari. There's no squids. It's Karamari. Only the men's toilets are available, apparently. Oh! So this is a... an entire hospital that has been transplanted into the facility, it seems. Thank you, Crown Corpse, for the sub. What do we have here? We have a TV. Everything looks good. Dr. Hamada, an oncologist. The patient has displayed increased depression after being informed of their terminal disease. I prescribed an antidepressant to regulate this, but it was later told that I had cancelled the prescription. I have no memory of cancelling the meds, nor can I find any evidence that my orders were tampered with.
Thank you, Meaty, for the gift. Uh, before we go downstairs, let's have a look around the rest of the place. Your pain is just a product of your broken mind. Wow, that's a really nice thing to put on a hospital wall. It's electronically sealed. Well, we guess we need to go down there. Maintenance room. That's room. Break room. Oh, fizz. My favorite kind of fizz. Got an office key. Nurse Tanaka, report 484. It seems we are losing patients due to surgical complications much more often than normal. What have the doctors been doing? Half of these procedures seem completely unnecessary. I know the doctors and surgeons are above me and probably know many things I don't, but this is getting strange. All these doors seem to be... Okay. Hi. I'm going to leave you alone for now, I'm going to be honest with you. Pile of flesh blocking the pathway there. Probably not. Not the best thing to be dealing with. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's just like where they dispose of the, the brains or something like that. Dr. Hamada, oncologist. It seems the other me has given him large doses of hallucinogenics. They've worsened depression, and he's now constantly screaming and expressing terror at seemingly random intervals. I tried using a dialysis machine to remove some of the drugs, but it seems futile. The other me? Seems, sounds a bit strange. Is that... What the fuck is that? It's like a ghost baby. Dr. Tajichi... Tajiji? 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 Hepatologist. Just got informed the procedure to extract the patient's liver became fatal. I don't know why. Why did we take his liver? There were no donation requests and he was showing signs of improvement. The surgical staff told me I personally demanded the liver be removed for an emergency transplant. And the worst thing is I found it. I found his liver, his entire liver, just sitting on my desk. Maintenance key. So there seems to be shadow versions of the doctors making deranged requests of the nurses who were just going along with it, I guess. <clears throat> Which is a bit bad. Nurse Tanaka, I blacked out today while driving to work. One minute I was driving down the road, and then an instance I was standing outside my car, staring down at a dead cat. I must have hit it with my car, and I felt sorry. The image of the dead cat has constantly unnerved me today. How did I manage to hit it in such a way to make the body completely twist around like that? I've got a feeling that she may not have, uh, have hit it with her car. It looks fake. Alright, so we need to go to the maintenance wing. Yeah, I'm being constantly called at the moment by uh, scam numbers, it seems. Not even UK-based scam numbers. From, I'm being called from Sudan, repeatedly. Probably need to go and block some numbers after this. <clears throat> and again. I haven't had any fucking um, scam calls for a while, but it is what it is, you know. They're constantly... My phone's actually going to die from back of batteries by the time this is fucking done. Alright, maintenance. Was there a maintenance door down here? I don't remember there being one. Maintenance room. Here we go. The generator powered down. Why would? Why did we do that? Oh, so the electronic locks are no longer work, right? You still here, Fleshy? You are, okay. Just gonna ignore that for now. Alright. We're through. Bucking. Well. 
Very jammy bed. He's probably okay. Okay. We are family. Thank you, Chess, for the gift sub. Well, sitting in the chair didn't seem to do anything, which is okay. Dr. Kanagawa, a hematologist. The patient did not recover from the blood loss. I feel like there's a monster inside my head and it's pushing me away while it works on something. I woke up in the patient's room standing over him while an arterial catheter was in the patient, letting him just bleed out onto the floor. Lovely. What a lovely, lovely, lovely image. If I sit in the chair long enough, something will happen? Alright. We'll give it a quick try. Twiddle our thumbs a bit. If we die, and we have to start again, it is chat's fault though, completely. So, uh, sitting in a chair in a creepy hospital, huh? Mm. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, mm. Oh! Lovely. I'm not sure I should stay sitting here. All right, we're going. Lovely. Oh, this is the same room. But just from... Okay. So where do I go from here? Was there another electronic lock anywhere? I don't think there was. So this just loops around to the main reception again. Huh. There must have been something in one of those rooms. So let's double check him again. It's probably a key or something that I missed. Or something to interact with. That's where I find it. Oh, the guy's gone. Perfect. The janitor's the janitor with the ham hands is gone. Oh, we're on the other side of the thing. Excellent. Morgue? Everyone's favourite room in the hospital. got a medallion and a lot of creepy effects happening on the screen. Okay. Don't think this was like this a minute ago, I'm going to be honest with you. Hi. I am dodging this thing. Oh, okay, here we go. Woo! Motherfucker. Motherfucker! Go. We're fine. Something sinister is beating on the wall of my subconscious. Beating like a war drum, motioning me to march down to hell. Lovely. The doors seem to move in here. Or maybe not. I'm really confused. Oh, I see. I see what happened. We got a medallion. What the fuck is the medallion for? 
What is it for? Fleshy numkin. Anything else in these rooms? Probably not, right? I'll double check. Oh, there's uh, acid. Oh! Oh! I'm very sorry for that. I'm not that sorry, I'm gonna be honest. I do wonder where the medallion goes though, because I don't remember seeing anywhere a medallion goes. Not that that means shit with my attention span. Okay. I was right, it's a painting in one of the office rooms. But I gotta find the right spot. One of these fucking rooms, is it? There you go. There we go! It's this! It was the award! I think I was being chased there. We're going down. I think I'm being chased by something. Pressa wasn't here at the moment to boof. She's uh, with grandma for the weekend. There appears to be like fetuses slash poo on the stairs. I'm not sure which one. They're lungs, actually. It's now going up again. This is like a really nice, secure part of the hospital. I have no idea where I'm going right now, by the way. Doesn't sound good. Hi! Giant baby head! How are you? I think this just loops around to the other place. Oh, this is actually a different room. Play Sunshine Academy. I think I'll pass, actually. Fuck it. I think people like seeing this. Here at Sunshine Academy, love is in the air. You've transferred from your high school in the States and you cannot wait to take your new classes here at school. Who knows, maybe your true dreams will come in fruition within these red halls. Your mother has packed lunch. <laughs> Day one. Hello there, you must be the new transfer student from America. How do you like it here so far? There are lots of cute girls here. Hell yeah. Well, don't worry, it's sure to get better. By the way, my name is Ume Ito. School bell. Oh, there's the bell, gotta go, talk to you later. Oh, hi, have you started liking this school yet? Class was interesting. Glad to hear it. To tell you the truth, I've had doubts when I first came here too. My dad lost his job and we had to move here and stay with my grandparents. That's a sad story. It wasn't all bad. And after a while, I've learned how to enjoy myself here. Well, see you tomorrow! So how was your second day? Have things gotten better yet? I think it's gonna be fun. Well, okay. Anyway, today's a new day and full of new experiences. I can't wait. Yeah. This is weird. Well, class was at least interesting today. I had no idea how many perfect spirals existed in nature. Is this like an... Uzumaki reference? You're perfect, flirt. Hey, do you live down this road too? I do indeed. Well, I live right down there at the, s the second house on the left. Unless it's an old house, but it's the place I've called home. My home, my home is inside you! <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck? Uh, what's the matter? I like how well your skin pulls across your skull, flirt. Those eyes shine like a house fire. Flirt. I am yours now. Don't you know? That place isn't for you. I am yours now. Now I'm yours. Now I'm yours. You wanted me to talk, didn't you? 
Oh, I don't know what that says. Do you really think this is real? Don't you know? You are in hell. Is this what you wanted? Oh, choke, choke, choke is what she's saying. I thought it was like a fucking at symbol. Don't you know? This is just a dream. Your blood is soaking through your eyes. Now I'm yours. Do you really think this is real? Are you happy now? This is just a dream. Is this what you wanted? Now I'm yours. This is just a dream. Why? That place isn't for you. This is just a dream. You wanted me to talk, didn't you? You remarked. Your blood is soaking through your eyes. This is just a dream. I'm always- I will always love you, murderer. You are in hell. Don't you know? Is this what you wanted? Why? Choke, 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 choke. Don't you know? Why? Murderer, murderer. I am yours now, murderer, murderer. You are marked. You're in hell. What is wrong? You wanted me to talk, didn't you? You wanted me to talk, didn't you? Don't you know? I'm yours now. That place isn't for you. Do you really think this is real? Your blood is soaking through your eyes. I'm yours now, murderer. You are marked. Why? What is wrong? This is just a dream. I am yours now. Are you happy now? Chuck, 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 chuck. This is very weird. I hope it ends soon. It's getting further and further away, right? I think I'm done now. How do I get out of this? There we go. Alright. That was alright. Nice little spooky meme. The baby's here. You can hear it. Oh, great. I think this is probably the right way. It's very confusing down here. I do like how different this is to the main game. Like, it's more like a straight up story DLC than like, uh, you know, like going through the rooms. I, I think Dollhouse is like that too. Although Dollhouse has different endings and it's quite complicated compared to this, I think. I will endeavor to get the best ending on Dollhouse, but if I fuck it up, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever the fuck that is, is it actually getting closer? I'm not going to be doing all endings, because all endings will involve me having to replay the entire thing again. I believe. Shit. Don't get up before Saturday. She looks happy. Game over. Wow. Well, we died. And we have to do that again. I had no idea that was going to kill me, obviously. I'm glad it isn't Saturday, though. Let's, uh, let's try this again. I never touched that game when I beat this before, so it definitely isn't needed for progression. Ah, oh, I gotta run past this, the fucking fetuses and the poo again. The poo fetuses. I have no idea how to beat that, whatever that is. Do you think I have to run away and just go back the other direction? Like, I don't know.
When I'm streaming, I can't look at a walkthrough on the fly, unfortunately, especially if my phone is dead. I think there's a door I haven't been through up here. Yeah, this one, although it might be locked. Oh no. I've got the isolation ward key. All right, let's just go back. Oh God. Oh God. Let's just go back to the isolation. Oh God. Let's just go back to the isolation ward. Fuck everything else. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that was where I was meant to go. Not the, uh, not the way with the weird face woman. It's fine. It's fine. There's a lot of entities in this hospital. Which is fine because I quite like titties, but the end bit kind of ruins it. The original has like a sudden death hallway with a sudden death entity as well, so I wouldn't want that surprised by its presence. I just avoided it last time I played because I knew it was coming. <laughs> right, before I do anything else, let's save. Alright, where the fuck is the isolation ward? In the basement, right? Like, down here, I think. Yep. It wasn't me, I swear it wasn't. It may have been my body and my hands, but I know it wasn't me. So, like, shadow versions of the doctor and nurses are just killing people in this hospital. Presumably that indicates there is a shadow world inside the hospital that is replicating them. I found out how to stop them. You can see they are, that you see they are in my head and they can control me for a time. But if I keep using the radiology machine to dose my head with radiation, they go away for a while. Doesn't sound like the most sensible uh, approach to dealing with this situation, but I understand. Oh fuck, I remember this. This is a maze with the baby in it. Great. Everything's going to be fine. <sighs> this is uh, pretty intense, this, by the way. But Spookies does a good job of that, to be fair. It does a good job of being intense without, like, being frustrating, if that makes sense. You seem different from the others. Got the exit key. I'm sorry, my little angel. I tried hating the man that took you from us, but in the end, the only person I can hate is myself. You always like to scare people, especially when they didn't understand something. I was confounded no one understood your costume, but I guess people don't read Poe anymore. Even with the new Price film. That man clearly overreacted to your fireworks, but we can only blame a PTSD sufferer so much. I've been here so long, I've forgotten so much. Hi. This place, it needs to be shut down. This is just like a bit like, this is a bit like Silent Hill, right? Like in a lesser sort of situation. Just hurry, you're so close now. Wish there was a save point here, because I know what's coming up. Alright, things are going to go to shit here for a bit. Wish me luck. Oh, the maze is gone. That's not good, because I think there's something else. We're going to go out this way and hope we can get to the save. Which is to the right. Yeah, 
get here. Okay, good. Right, let's try the exit. We're out. Hi. I like Spooky. You can kill her in the final DLC, but you get a bad ending if you do. I can't run, by the way. Right now. I think this might be the end of the DLC, though. Yeah, there you go. Very short, abrupt, simple DLC. The next one's quite a lot more complicated. But we're going to take a little break, and then we're going we're gonna to watch some Spooky videos. And then we're going to jump into the next part of the DLC, okay? But again, I really like this. I don't think this is as good as the main game, but it's fine. You know, it's 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 pretty good. You can scroll through the credits and make it go really weird and fast. Yeah. Uh, so if you beat the game, Spooky, you find a sword in one of the paintings, I think. I want to say something like that. And then Spooky wears a nurse's outfit, which is kind of cute. But yeah. All right, we'll stop for a second. All right, time to do the Dollhouse DLC for Spookies. This DLC I'm not at all familiar with. I, I did play it and beat it once. This is a lot, this is combat heavy, by the way, compared to the others. The air here is heavy with must and mold. Your lungs seem to struggle as you inhale. Your ability to heal is hindered in this place. So we can't heal, regenerate our health. And we have an axe immediately in this. You, I think I need... Something about this doll draws you in. Pick up the doll? Sure. We're gonna need to leave the doll on various pedestals at various points. Congratulations, GL Labs Associate. You volunteered for our proud parent program. You've been given a doll. Your duty is to train the soul and trap within. To confine it to the doll, you must keep it in good spirits and give it attention. Many of the beta candidates were children when they died and will likely attach themselves to you without problems. But there may be times where punishment or extraction of spirit energy is necessary. The energy can feel quite replenishing, but please refrain from abuse as it negatively affects the ghost. In the event of husk rejection or injury, GL Labs is not responsible under any circumstances. There's the map. But I can't use my weapon when the doll is in my hand. And that's how we save. Your spirit has been recorded. Northside Studies at 10.57pm. Can I put this thing down? Or does it have to be on certain things? Alright, we have a clock puzzle. And we have... Okay. Bolt cutters inside the clock. There is a clown SCP type thing in this, yeah? But he only goes after you if you're holding the doll. So you can actually get rid of him really easily. Okay, we've got a piano that I can't... Oh, it sounds out of tune. Alright, so I need... Oh, I've got a West Wing key from playing the piano. Excellent. Ow. The bubbers. The bubbers are after me. No. All right, you stay there for a minute, all right? Yeah, I think it's my system time, yeah.
Yeah, uh, that would be the right time here. This game can be scary, but some aspects of it are fun too. It's a good balance of both, actually. Oh well. Oh, fuck me. I'm taking damage there, whatever happened. Fuck me. Can you heal in this? I hope I can, because otherwise I am uh, probably dead. Alright. Let's deal with the, the doll situation. This room we need to come back to, like, fucking ages ago, later. Tear and proud parent volunteers. This room functions to relieve stress and replenish spirit energy in the event the doll has lost potency. You may use this function by placing the doll on the pedestal and sitting across from it. In the event of hus rejection or injury, Jail Labs is not responsible. Good luck, proud parent. Let's get to know our doll. Alright, you stay there for a few minutes, alright? I've got to kill some babies. Yeah, there's some things in here. Alright, get wrecked. We're having difficulty containing one of the stronger spirits. The dolls that we used to hold them keep stretching out and breaking, and then we have to summon the spirit all over again. Theoretically, the size of the vessel shouldn't matter, but it complains that it's all too small. So for now, it's locked up behind an emergency containment door. There are other entities other than the dolls, by the way, in this. I'll just have to wait and see what they... I want to go in where they came out of. I ran out of stamina there, that's why I was freaking out. Oh, I can't go in there? Oh, bollocks. So I just killed three innocent dolls for no reason. Excellent. I'll be back for the doll in a minute. Just want to check over here. Alright, here's the GL Labs entrance. You can probably put the doll on that to get in there, I'm going to guess. There's a hole here. Reach inside, sure, why not? Something grasps your hand. Ow! Ow! Well, that was not worth it. I have lost a lot of health. Well, this isn't going too well for my, uh, my health. Oh, I can heal by shaking the doll. Thank you for that, chat. That helps a lot. Let's recharge her again, actually, after that. Oh, that's much better. We're good. Isn't she adorable? What was in here? Access card required, okay. I don't fit in this. I can't stretch or else I break. They did this to me. That's fucked up. I was going to say, you're going to come after me. Hi! I forgot about you. Get fucked. What's that sound? I don't like that sound. I do not like that sound at all. Bye! I think Outlaw's Trials is okay. You need a full stack to enjoy it though. 
It's too difficult with two. Why are there babies in here again? Respawning babies? Right. Alright, there's gotta be another door somewhere I need to use. Oh, hey. oh hi, Spooky. Yeah, I'm probably playing out on some Wednesday. Alright. Wish I, uh, had, uh... Oh, did I get the key to the clock? I did. That's what I got. I was gonna say, I wish I remembered how to use... Hi. The, uh, map. Because I don't know. But it's okay. What time, though, do I need to put in the clock? Oh, there's the map. What the fuck? I can't actually move right now for some reason. So I have to look down and then press space bar for the map, which is very confusing. I have no idea what, what time I should be putting in this. And I can't get off of it for some reason. If I just spin it around the full time, right, eventually we'll get the right answer, yeah? Theoretically. There you go. I've got the bolt cutters. Bye. I wish this thing would fuck off, by the way. It's horrible. It's the garden. My dear Monica, that was difficult. I've respected your wishes and let me rest. I miss you every day. I miss you so much. I'm still going to try and save our daughter. I know it's not what you wanted, but I've already gone too far. She's so close. I just have to find a way to keep her here. I love you. I need the key card for that. Okay, that electrocutes that door. Have I been there? I mean, they're dead. Oh. Where the fuck am I? Oh, I see. Hi! To keep the dolls happy, we created this party room. We even summoned a spirit to entertain them, but this experiment has failed miserably. The dolls hate it here and seem totally freaked out around the clown. I requested the document on how it was found, and apparently they tried to summon a happy human ghost, but instead got something else. It looks human, it acts human, and it's just to be safe. We installed a cage. Just what did you summon? I do not have access to a walkthrough for this, by the way. I haven't told anyone yet, but I think this place is haunted. There are like strange wo woning sounds all the time, like a moan, but also a woe, you know, so woning. And there was a painting that I kept staring at, and I think it was changing. I don't like this doll. Woning. Were these dolls, were these doors all open before? This is so weird. Oh, these- I definitely haven't been here before. Oh, fuck. Oh, I thought I was locked in. A doll is a timeless thing in the shape of a human, but created perfect, immortal and unmoving, yet hollow, devoid of soul. A fitting symbol and possible usable device for our goals here. Soon I'll have to have you back, my dear, but I first must make sure it won't constrict you. None of these rooms seem like nice places to be. There are several broken doll parts and pairs of plastic clasped hands that appear to be holding something. They're slightly melted together. Pick it up. We've got some doll hands. So we need to unmelt them. What do you think about this? You alright? Maybe we can melt it on the electricity? 
No. There was a painting, something about staring at a painting as well. I think this is a different GL Labs entrance, by the way. What is this guy? Yeah, this is a- oh, this is a different GL Labs door. I guess we'll bring the doll and go through there first, seeing as we're here. What the fuck is the room with the doll? Oh my god, I hate this fucking place. Alright, you're coming with me through the GL Labs door. If I can find it again. That's the clown room, right? Okay, good. I didn't go in the clown room. Oh, open the furnace. Yeah, we can melt the thing here. Hell yeah. I'm expecting to get jumped any minute, by the way, which is why I keep looking around. The soul's hands have melted away, removing a small key. Pick it up. Alright. My hands have got third degree burns all over them now, obviously, which is a bit of a bugger, but... Question is, what is the small key for? And what is the electricity for? Do I dare go in the clown room? With the doll. Hi. I was thinking you might want some help. So, I moved all those dolls out of the way. But you well, blocked the way back. <laughs> Bye. Begin to think spooky doesn't really help anyone. I'm gonna be real. It's been a while since I've saved, by the way, as well, which is a little bit concerning. I'm gonna take her to the doll clown. What's the worst that could happen, huh? Oh, they've all gone. Excellent. Oh, shit. Well, the clown's out. I don't know what is the Wo painting, or if that's actual clue or something. But we got a key for something. I should go and find a way to save. As a priority, I think. Yeah. Let's focus on that for now. Get to the save point. Then we worry about everything else. Oh, I, I unlocked this with it. Oh, it was for the massive metal door? Oh, okay. In memory of Doug. GL Labs has chosen you as a volunteer for a special assignment. We're sending you a deep into the earth to excavate the area for our new department. Look for the ghosts and look after the ghosts and skeletons. All right, so this is the mini game here. Oh, it's Dig Doug, kind of, right? I just got absolutely fucking reams. Do I just need to dig out everything? I guess. Or kill the ghosts. That's what you do in Dig Dug, right? You kill the ghosts. It's been a long time since I played Dig Dug, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. There you go, I killed the ghost. Oh, I didn't even see- Well! I'm done with this already. After all our research and experimentation, we were looking in the wrong place. The dolls did little but distract us. They could not fill my heart, and they were not suitable for you to inhabit. That is why you did not come back. But now I found something else. A relic from the old king mirror that seals spirits to the earth. Though it originally was used for great evil, I will use it for you. Just another Tuesday. Bear it, make it dig in a grave.
Going back. Not going out there yet. I want to save. Express yourself. The fuck is that noise? Hopefully now the Dole project is over, I'll get transferred back to the surface facility soon. It's been very interesting, but I gradually fear for my life every day. That's not ideal job security. Go, 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 go. I don't like this room. It's freaking me out. Look up. There's nothing in here. Oh. Oh. Look down. We abandoned the dull idea of tethering the subject to a physical object, and instead we sealed the spirit within the mansion itself. Our ability to spin the facility should be incredible. The director would be pleased with the outcome of his sacrifice. Alright. We are going back to the save point, because there hasn't been one for fucking ages. And we're hoping that the face thing doesn't kill us on the way. Oh no, it's just here. Save point is just here. There we go. Hey, excellent. Progress saved. Some cool monster designs in these games. I really like them. Alright, we got a door for the doll here. Another door for the doll here? No. Okay. Guess we're going through the door with the doll. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, this is bad. It's a black candle. The thing is, I need to come back here and get all the black candles for the true ending. But, I remember you need to get the black candles for the true ending, but I don't fucking... Uh... I can't pick him up at the moment, so... Because I need to have found the ritual room first. I remember some things about this. The spirits get so temperamental, we keep having to perform rituals to keep them in check. When they act out, it's necessary to inflict pressure on the husk inhabited by the spirit. Don't forget these dolls are not real people. Okay, so we need to come back down here for the black candle at some point. It's some sort of strange sculpture. That is not a sculpture, is it? It's a painting. I guess unless it's maybe 3D. It's locked. Okay. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're not good, by the way, I have no fucking clue where I'm going right now. <clears throat> it's back to the room with the candle. Oh no, this is... Can I go down? A heavy metal plate over a narrow hole, it's like getting me slayed shut. Move the plate. Alright. Am I meant to do this? If I do this, will I get... Is this for the good ending? What the fuck is this? I have no idea what this is for. But I'm scared that if I do it, I'll fuck myself. I'm gonna leave it open. All right. No, oh, I just think it. So you don't know. Okay. Oh, there's the other candle, but I can't pick any of the fucking candles up because I need to have found the ritual room first and I didn't.
Log 189. I... Great. Is this back in this room again? I'm gonna close this. I think this looks sus. I'm gonna close it and hope for the best. And we got... Oh, we got the, we got the exit key. Excellent. This place is very disorientating, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I find it very confusing to navigate. But I guess that's the point. Because I think when we come back down here to get the candles, there's something down here uh, to, that, that will kill us. Oh, wow, there's a lot more to this. There's the candle. So there's probably some more doors in here that I haven't seen. Okay. A life-size doll. There is a metal pinwheel piece. Tear it off. Okay. Bye. Guessing that's going to come after me. Alright, so we have two pinwheel pieces now. Which is good. But I have no idea where the third one is. And I feel like I've been, at this point, literally everywhere. Because the other, this goes down to the room where we got the the other piece, right? Spooky dookie and all that, but yeah, this is where we got the other one. So we have one more left to go. This is the only thing that has anything to it. Is there like a button? A secret button? Oh my god. That's how you do it, huh? A metal pinwheel piece. Forgot that I had the axe completely. Access card? Okay. So we are meant to come down here before we get the candles. We have to come back down here later on while being chased to get the candles. That's going to be the hard part. To get the good ending. Okay. But we need to find the ritual room before we do that. Or we can't go anywhere anyway. So we'll come back down here later on to get the candles with the doll chasing us I suspect the one we uh, we pulled off the wall should be interesting at least I hope I can just throw myself down again instead of having to climb down this fucking staircase it's really out of the way oh I see and this is by the hole hi you fuck off that's right, fuck off. Fuck off. Suck a dick. That's it. Fuck off. Maybe not suck a dick. You're like five. <clears throat> oh god. What the fuck?! But, I just, what, what, that was glitched. That was completely glitched there, do you guys see that? Hi. Oh, why is she upset? Don't be upset, it's okay. That's the train. If we go on the train, it ends the game. Which is what I did the first time I got here. We don't want to do that at the moment. It's okay. Oh, here's the ritual room. There's a candle missing. There's a candle missing. Okay, so now we can go get the fucking candles, probably. I c what the fuck? The Kira Genesis is about just about fried. We've summoned far too many spirits for it to handle. Even returning them might collapse the gate. So I moved three of the ritual candles into the root cellar. That should deter any more summoning for now. Spooky will probably order someone to go get them, but that's not my problem. Any odds is that oh, they wouldn't survive down there anyway. Okay. Can you just sit there for now? Okay. What's in here again? Alright, we can't use that anymore. Alright, so we're gonna have to go down to the basement and get the candles now. Alright? She'll be fine there, probably. 
Let's go and get the candles. As like a fucking... As a priority. Where the fuck am I? I'm so lost. Here. Okay. Candles. Got it. This is the wrong side. Fuck me. Yeah, I probably have to take the doll to the rejuvenation room as well, right? Before I use her for the ritual. But we'll worry about that. Where the fuck is the fucking door? Oh, it's not even here. This is the wrong place. We'll come and get the doll once we've got the fucking... Uh... Candles. I've got to go past the fucking shadow woman again, though. Unless she's not here. She was not there this time. Bye. Ow! You fucking little bitch, baby. I'll fucking kill you. This is going to really suck. I should have brought the doll with me to heal, right? I just realized. Well, if I die, we know what to do. Hi. Bye. I can't remember where the fucking candles are. Like, at all. There's not one in here, right? Nah. Ow! That's bum. Yeah, we're going to have to probably... We're probably going to die here and come back. Because I think she's going to kick my ass. God, the stamina in this is so shit. That was close. I don't remember where the third black candle is. I can't remember where the fuck the third black candle is. It all looks the fucking same, which doesn't help. Yeah, I have no idea where the third one is. Oh god, I went down, I went past it then, fuck! I'm so dead. Go, 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 go. Hi, bye. Alright, we're gonna get the one from down here first. There's one straight across this way, down here, through here, in this room there's one. The other one is in the left, all the way down the dead end. Wrong way, but gives me a break for a second. I don't recognize this. This is just the same fucking room. Fuck! It's this bit. Go! Go, go! There is no candle in this dead end where the doll was. Yeah, the candles are not in here. Where the fuck is the third candle? I've just been everywhere again. Where the fuck is it? God, I'm so fucked. I have no idea where the candle is. Oh, it was in the painting. It was in the safe. It wasn't by the doll. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck you. It was in the safe. No, it wasn't. Where the fuck was it then? This is ridiculous. Was it through here? Yeah, it was. Alright, I got them all. Now I need to get the fuck out of here. Get the doll. Heal the doll. So I can use the doll with the ritual. Fuck me. Alright, okay.
Go. Nope. Where's the where the fuck is it gone? Where's the exit gone? Guys, the exit has moved. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there it is. <sighs> Game was fucking with me. Game was fucking with me good there. Go, oh, you fucking... You little bitch, baby! Suck a dick! I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead. He's too fat to get past. Fuck, go, 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 go. I am so dead, guys. I can save here. Alright, let's go and get the doll, then go back and heal. We've got a long way to go. Oh, that's just a stupid fucking name. Alright, I know there's more to this. I'm gonna heal first before anything else. The clown can come after me now, though, which is a pain in the ass. Now I'm when I'm carrying her. Oh, she is healing me. She's hiding her face because she's scared, though. That's why. I guess I have to sit here for a while. I'll sit here for a bit. Oh, I see. There's a fucking bath. Tell me. I didn't even realize. I'm an idiot. Let's charge her up to full. Alright. Alright, then we're gonna go and do the ritual. We have full health. And we've saved. We've saved with full health and all three candles out the basement. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest with you. That was pretty stressful, that fucking basement section. Jesus Christ. Alright. So he's definitely way more involved than the other DLC. For fuck's sake, I went in the wrong fucking room again. I went in the clicky room. The clicky doll room. But there's more to come, because I have to deal with some of the entities from the previous game now, I think. Oh, do I need the doll? Hmm. What is that? What has this done? What have I achieved? Doll spirit interference place outside room. Okay. So the doll can't be in here with me. Any further spirit returns will result in system collapse. I've got to choose which one I want to deal with. We're going to go with the pet marionette. It's just the easiest one to deal with. Spirit already active. Lead back to Hellgate source to return. I think we have to do them all, actually. I think we have to deal with all three. Pinocchio first. Just one, that's great. I picked the easiest one. 
Because the dear god summons enemy. Oh Jesus. Because the dear god summons shit that'll fuck you up. And um, the meat demon can make the doors vanish. And as I don't know the layout to this fucking place, that makes him very dangerous. Because I don't know where the doors are. That was my thought process anyway. Because the dear god has the bubbers. Jesus, he's such a fucking dickhead, that guy. And the meat demon would make the exits invisible. This is a little bit fiddly, but it's like... Comparatively speaking, it's like... One of the, he's the, one of the easiest things to deal with in the game. you! When the fuck did that happen? I mean, I'm doing alright, I think, but still. Look at this grumpy little fucking Majora's Mall space. Is this Hellgate that I need to lead him back to? Go. Oh. That was really lucky. I've had to push my luck a bit there. Imagine doing this with the meat demon, how fucking stressful it would have been. Fuck you. If you guys would like to see me do a stream of the endless mode of this, which has different entities, I'd be down with that as well. But only if you guys want to see it. Oh shit. What am I doing here? Oh fuck, that was close. Is this the pool? Like, is this where I have to lead him? Oh god, I don't know. I'm guessing no. I don't really know what I'm doing. I might die here. Because we seem to keep teleporting into the same fucking rooms. Oh no, it's a door. This would be a hell portal. What do I have to do here? Fuck you! I got him. God, I have no health. Jesus Christ. Did I win? Well, I can heal anyway. So I can just exit now on the train, right? And then I'm done. What do I need to do? What do I need to fucking do? I had to put the doll in a machine? Where the fuck is a machine? Do we know where it is? Because I have no idea. I haven't seen anything. That doesn't narrow it down a lot. I'm gonna be honest with you for all day. That's like saying it's in one of hundreds of rooms. Could be in here. 
Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, hey. Hi. I don't like it here. You should probably just leave. There's nothing for you here. Just Spooky leave. doesn't like this. What do I do with this? The seal can be turned off, but I do this. I have to let the doll spirit go. There's no going back after this. End the nightmare? Yes. Did I win? Did I get the good ending? It was a nightmare. The night I saw the devil. What the fuck is this? By the way, pandas, I have no idea what HHD is, I'm gonna be honest. What the fuck is this? What is this? I've only got three bullets left. Oh, I automatically realized. That's good. Jesus. I don't know what that is either. I don't know what Halloween Horror Nights are, I'm sorry. Is it like one of those things where you go around a spooky mansion or something? Like a spooky place? Because... No, if that's the answer. I think I just went back on myself. Everything looks the same, so it's very hard to tell. Why is there alcohol everywhere, by the way? Yeah, I went the wrong way. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, I've never been to Universal Studios. I think I'm going the right way. I'm assuming as it, as it keeps spawning, I'm going the right way. Alcohol is demon lube. Thanks for that. No stamina here, by the way. Hi. It's spooky. Oh, we shot. Spooky gets shot. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's how Spooky died. I'll teach her for wearing a hoodie. That was a joke. I promise. <laughs> Someone is sleeping here. Plant the gun on them. Gun on them. Yeah. I can't lose you. I will bring you back. All right, now. I always wanted to tell you how the night really ended, but I couldn't because you were gone. I need your forgiveness, that's why I wanted you back at any cost. But in the end, I robbed you of both life and unlife. Please go on and be with Monica. I'm sorry. Right now, can I leave on the train? Yes. Seconds? Seconds?! Just as well I remember where the exit is. Out the fucking way. Go. Yep. It's like Resident Evil!
Oh, the entire place gets blown up. Jesus. With the seal broken, the spirit trapped within the mansion can now go on, and with the Hellgate shut, the terrors that seep through begin to fade away. Spooky has moved on and rest with their parents now. Somehow, despite all the horror within the mansion, you brought peace to it all. Good ending. Oh, isn't that a nice... Isn't that cute? A cute. That's a lot more involved than the other DLC. Alright, anyway, that was uh, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansions, both sets of DLC. Whereas in YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't mind uh, me talking to chat while I was doing it, but, you know. Um, I think that was pretty good. I enjoyed that quite a lot. I really like this still. I think these DLCs are too nice. They're the right way of doing DLC. They're two good standalone things that are separate from the main stuff. I just like it. I think it's just a really good horror game. And the DLCs continue the trend of it being a really, really good horror game, you know what I mean? I like it! I like it! As Gabe Newell would say. Thank you for watching, everyone, and that is Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion's HD Renovation.